Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I will show you how to add a responsive menu like this. So you can see that this is a beautiful effect and it slide in from the left. You can make it from the right, from the bottom or from the top. And this beautiful icon. So when you are on a mobile phone, you will see this. And I'll show you how to remove the default menu uh, as you ha already have for your website so for this we will need a plugin I'll show you on my this website and I'll remove this default menu and add that responsive menu to the website come to your plugins add new on the add plugin page type responsive menu and press enter install the plugin by Express Tech, click on install now. Activate the plugin. After activating, come to your front pen and refresh the page. Out of the box, it will look something like this, which is pretty much exactly what we wanted, but we will have to remove our current menu as well as if you check it on other devices then there is also a mobile menu we will also remove that so first of all on a google chrome browser or firefox right click and click on inspect element right now i'm using google chrome so everything i show you uh, is from google chrome click on this select an element in this page and then choose the parent of this container so all the menu items are visible okay now look for the parent of this container here it is copy the class and now come to your backend and look for responsive menu in the right sidebar sorry left sidebar Now in the initial setup, initial setup tab, scroll down and original menu to hide, type here, first type dot or point and then paste that class we just copied and now update options. Okay, responsive menu updated successfully refresh the page now you can see that our original menu is not there and you are seeing that stop bar because you are already logged into your wordpress admin so uh, normal visitors will not see this and your responsive menu is okay now if we resize our browser and check it on other devices as well then you can see that there is the default responsive menu option which must be removed so click on the select an element within this page and then choose the container for this one and find the parent for the responsive menu yes this is AST mobile menu buttons copy the class and then come to the back end and in the hide original menu option type comma again and press space and then type dot or point and paste that class uh, okay AST mobile menu let's check if it's ID or class yes it's class so we will call it by dot it will be followed by dot and then click on update options again now open the home page and refresh now let's resize the browser and there is no default menu option here now if you wonder why this top bar is showing and this is uh, not showing correctly we will 
check this website on another browser right now I have Firefox I'll paste that website link here now you can see that it looks exactly what we wanted the next option I'll show you is slide from right or slide from bottom from top let me show you how you can set these options come to your admin panel again and click on the container tab scroll down to the animation section here here you can select animate from left appear from top right or bottom let me select right and you can change from slide to push animation and click on update now refresh the home page if you click on the menu it will appear from right similarly if we choose top or bottom then it will do the same click on the menu to test it now it slides from the top similarly it can be slide from bottom now about the color options you can change the colors for this icon as well as for these menu items and uh, for their backgrounds as well so come to your admin click on menu tab for colors and fonts S scroll down to the item text option and here you can change color for the text let me choose black for the text and hover color will be something like green or blue current item color will also be the same as this one as well as the current item hover color but little bit darker okay now save the changes and let's check come to your front end refresh the page click on the menu and you can see that the text color is black and hover color is blue now we will change the background color scroll down to the background item background section choose slightly silver color Our color is okay. Current item color will be a little bit darker from the default color. Okay. And update. Open front end. Refresh the page and you can see that items are now silver color background but the hover color must also be changed let's come to the item background and hover color little bit lighter as well as item hover color will be the same the 
the trigger icon you can upload to anything else if you don't want these up and down now the next thing will be the container background which is the whole menu background click on the container after updating the options click on container and scroll down to the color section background container color will be white but with little bit darkness inner container is also the same you can copy colors from the item color to match perfectly my colors may not match perfectly with the backgrounds now this is all we have to do so uh, these are the, all the options you can play around and look for more options you want and if you have any question then please mention your uh, comment in our comment section and please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you